this is bones <laughs> this week <laughs> this week is all about bones and this will be the reason why you guys did not get a vlog last week was because of this boy and a broken fridge so <laughs> say hi to your fans bones <laughs> My whole life I've grown up with Collies, but um, five and a half years ago, I decided I was going to get a Bloodhound. And part of the reason I decided to get a Bloodhound is my in-laws at the time had an oops litter and uh, they were looking uh, for people to take the puppies from um, their, it was, they were purebred Bloodhound puppies, but not registered. and. Um, it was unexpected and they didn't realize that their female was pregnant for quite a while. So, um, you know, as you can see by these gorgeous pictures, I picked the only brown puppy, the only liver colored puppy out of the whole litter. Uh, the rest of the litter was all black and tan. And I knew the moment I saw this um, liver, this little brown adorable puppy in these pictures that I wanted this bloodhound. So enjoy a few pictures and videos of Bones when he was a little baby, a little tiny baby. He grew fast and he grew big and now Bones is um, five and a half years old and he is just shy of a hundred pounds and he has a very deep voice. Uh, his um, his bay is like, Burr! it's really deep. And, um, you know, he tends to scare people and dogs because he's this big, huge dog. And he has a really sort of deep voice. And when he play growls, it sounds really scary. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of other smaller dogs don't always feel like playing with him and um, you know some people are a little nervous around him. The funny thing is is I've realized with Bones is um, pretty much when I jog with him and my other bloodhound Buckwheat, every dude in a pickup truck has to pull over to the side of the road and talk to me about my bloodhounds and pet them. So these are definitely, if you like you know country boys, then this is your man magnet here is a bloodhound um but yeah he's a big boy bones is super picturesque um he just he's one of those dogs well i, I want to say he doesn't take a bad picture but every now and then he takes a pretty hysterical picture um but he's just you know a very regal looking bloodhound and he takes some really gorgeous pictures so i've got some really pretty ones of him and then i've got some pretty amusing ones of him too. Um, but yeah, he's just, he's the dog where, you know, I can pretty much take him anywhere. He gets along with everybody. He behaves very well. And I think a part of it is, is he's five and a half and, you know, he's, you know, he's at an age now where he's starting to chill out a little bit, but I like to take him to the Alive at Five shows, you know, with the concerts and um, all the people have to come up and visit with him because he's so cute. And now I get into why my vlog did not post last week. Bones, as sweet as he is, is notorious for counter surfing. He has actually even gotten on top of the table sometimes. He has eaten entire sticks of butter. That's buckwheat. He's eaten entire eggs. He has eaten, um, you know, part of my Nespresso machine. He pops open donut boxes and pizza boxes, and before two seconds is up, he has stolen and eaten, just swallowed whole donuts, a piece of pizza. He just devours them. He just sucks them right on down. So he's pretty bad about eating things. And one of the things that we've always had problems with him eating is Nerf darts. My sons all have Nerf guns, and they play outside, and occasionally they can't find one or two Nerf darts. Well, guess who can find the Nerf darts? And I find days later, there's like chewed up bits of Nerf darts in Bones's poop. Um, in addition to that, he's eaten paper towels, Kleenexes. Yeah, the, eating things he's not supposed to eat is Bones's problem. I had to put child, child safety locks on our garbage can too, because Bones loves to get into the garbage can. 
So last Friday night, actually it was really late Friday, um, Bones was not feeling very good. And I thought he sometimes has some, you know, stomach issues. So I gave him his antacids and thought he would be okay. But throughout the night, he started being very distressed and obviously uncomfortable. So at three o'clock in the morning on Saturday, I had to take him to the emergency vet. And here's the video from the emergency vet at three o'clock in the morning last Saturday. X-rays revealed that Bones not only had bloat, which is a whole lot of gas, both in his intestinal system and his stomach, but that he had a blockage in his small intestine. And um, yes, at three o'clock in the morning when they take x-rays, they have to send them to somebody, some x-ray technician who is 24 hours on call at three in the morning. So I'm sure you're already imagining the dollar signs that this is racking up, but um, the x-ray technician said it was a full blockage um, and that it was serious. And they thought it was either a balled up sock or a corn cob. They couldn't quite tell what it was. Um, the veterinarian said I could probably had about a 24 hour window if I wanted to wait and see if it would pass or I could go ahead and schedule surgery. Um, I feared the worst. So I went ahead and scheduled surgery. So first thing Saturday morning, um, an emergency surgeon arrived at, uh, the animal emergency hospital to operate on my bloodhound and they found a blue Nerf ball that he had swallowed whole, not even chewed up, just swallowed it and it had lodged in his small intestine. So they removed the Nerf ball and uh, um, his intestine was very inflamed. And of course, you know, it was surgery. They had to actually cut into his intestines to remove the Nerf ball. Um, so he was in the emergency hospital for a few days before he could come home. And then he's had about two weeks of recuperative care here in my house. and. Um, I am uh, much poorer now. My savings account is much drained, but I'm just grateful that I had the means uh, to take care of him because this is the sort of thing that he would have died from if, if I had not had the money um, to have the emergency surgery done for him. So I was glad about that. And as for this blue Nerf ball, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to get a picture of bones and a shadow box. And I'm going to like put it up on the wall with the blue Nerf ball and picture of bones. And, um, you know, it will be um, a very expensive picture I can hopefully laugh at sometime in the future. So that's all about my bones dog. And um, <laughs> I'm so sorry I did not get this video up last week or get any video up last week, but uh, I hope you understand why. And I'm so happy he's okay and he's recovered fully and he seems to be doing very well. So please hit subscribe and hit the little bell so you're notified when new vlogs post, when new videos post. And I will be back next week with another video. Thank you and talk to you soon.